hello and welcome so we have another um, another question just right there so uh, we want to get Laplace trans transform of both sides or of this function we're gonna get the y of s so we're gonna take Laplace transform of both sides okay so Laplace transform of y double dash minus constant of rest transform of y dash bin plus constant of less transform of y that is equal to the last transform of t, t square e to the power of theta you must take one function and then it will affect the other. And what do I mean by effect? Let's remember what we took in the previous lessons. We took that if we have t, f of t, okay, this will equal to minus, because we get Okay, minus 1 to the nth power 2n, and the bar of t is 1, so 1, d over ds, f of s, the bless of uh, the function of t. Okay, good. So minus 1 d by ds of f of s. F of T. Okay. So we have T square right here. We just in the previous examples we can make the T square as T multiplied by T to e to the power of three T and then apply the rule. Okay. But this will be a, a long of the derivative. Okay, that will be like long derivative. As long as you have the function exponential function, then use it to make the answer is slightly easy than just derive second times. Okay, because you know, okay, if you want to get Laplace of t to bar of n. In this case, we have t square. So we're going to take n factorial over s over n plus 1. This will be 2 over s cubed. We know this, right? So take the function that you know the easiest Laplace transform. Okay? And make it as f of t. Okay. So, for example, as long as you have exponential multiplied by t square t cube, whatever it is, get Laplace of the t first. Then shift using the shift theorem of exponential when it's multiplied by a function of t we know this so if Laplace transform of the exponential f of t we know that we know the class of f of t for example f of t is in this case t square this is what be 2 over s minus 3 all cube. What I did right there, I just shift s by mm, by 3. Yeah, because uh, exponential, the power of the exponential is in this case 3, so we shift by 3. So the same idea. If we have, we can apply this rule very easy and very easily. Okay. 
to this function to this function we know t so we can make it like this we know t squared of less of t squared 2 over s cubed if you don't know watch the previous lesson lessons then Laplace of exponential in this case is 3 so 3 t multiplied by the function that we, we know the Laplace of okay and f of t in this case will be t squared okay then this will be 2 over s cube okay then you use the shift theorem use the shift theorem of the exponential by 3 so all you're going to do just to just remove this cube and then minus or shift by 3 because the exponential here is to the power of 3 then we're going to make it just cube put the cube as it is of this so this cube is here and the shift and minus refer to the shift minus 3 right there refers to the shift of this very well so if you have exponential multiplied by, by f of t we can know, and we know Laplace of f of t then we get Laplace of f of t then shift by the power of the exponential or shift by a instead of using derivative derivative of t so we can use the same idea right there to get Laplace of this function so Laplace of y double dash is equal this and we have proved that we multiply by s then we minus uh, minus the last term we minus by y and we remove just one dash for a minute so it becomes y double dash at condition zero or at initial condition okay watch the previous lessons and you will see where we proved this okay so Laplace transform of y double dash is s square y of s minus s y of at initial condition minus y da dash at initial condition minus continue the function minus 6 Laplace transform of y dash is this s y of s minus y at initial condition okay y at initial condition is 2 very well plus the third term we have 9 a blessed transform of y is y of s equal to the blessed transform of function okay and we just did it exponential multiplied by f of t and we know Laplace of t square is 1 is 2 factorial of 2 which is 2 by 1 okay factorial of 2 is 2 by 1 over s n plus 1 n here is n here is 2 so 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so actually we have 2 over 3 then we used the, the shift theorem of exponential by minus 3 so I'll take the whole term and just remove the cube from here and also remove the 1 because we don't need it anything by 1 is the same and then put the cube right there now we just solved it all you're going to do is get y of s on a side and the other function on a side and that's it okay so let's continue s square y of s 
minus y at 0 is equal to 2. So this is 2s minus y dash at initial condition is 6 minus 6 minus minus 6 multiply by s so 6s y s y of s minus 6 by 2 is equal to 12 plus 9 y, y of s y of s equal to the same function or less of this okay All right, just to get a little bit aside. Okay. Okay. Then take y of s as common. Okay, common factor between all these terms. So take y of s as a common factor, and open your brackets, and we have a square. minus 2s minus 6s is equal to and also we have 9s so minus 2s no just take it on the side we'll take just the terms that multiply by y of s so these are the terms that multiply by y of s you just can add it okay so minus 6 of s y of s and plus 9 y of s will be plus 3 plus 3 y of s okay then we have this term with this term Okay, so this is on the side, just put it like there. It's equal to minus 18. Okay, or instead of making all these things, I would prefer just um, use it simply. Okay, because we don't have uh, space on the whiteboard. So if we're going to take your y of s as a common factor again, we're left by s square minus 6s from here, and y s square from here, and 6 minus 6s from here, plus 9 from here. Okay, so we have a second we have an equation to the power of 2 then minus 2s okay very well then we have minus oh I'm sorry minus 6 by minus 2 is plus 12 okay just, just make it like that minus 6 by s y of s is minus 6 y of s and minus 6 by minus 2 is 12. So minus 2s, okay, then take this minus 6 plus 12 equal to the function 2 over s minus 3. The whole is cubed. Okay, let's cl clear the word. The word the board that we have there okay so remove the board I can I can use another slide but I just want you to focus on what I'm doing so let's just clear the board okay because I want you to focus on the last step that I'm, I was doing 
Okay. Okay. Very well. All we need to do is to take y of s on one side and anything else put it on the other side. So we have this side. We don't need it right now. Put it on the other side. But before we do that, let's just make it minus 6 plus 12 is plus 6. Okay, so we have plus 6 right there. Okay, good. Take this side, put it right there. Okay, or add. 2s minus 6 to both sides. So they will be this update from here, and then we add 2s minus 6 to both sides. So we'll have y of s equal to s squared minus 6s plus 9 equal to 2 over s minus 3 to the power of cube or bar of 3 plus we can take 2 as a common factor and we're left by s minus 3 as you like then you're going to do just divide this factor okay and this factor actually is like this we know this factor is like that. this factor. We can make it like s minus 3 quadratic to the power of 2. Ma okay, the, the first power here is, is square. The second one is 9. And 2 by minus 3 by s equal minus 6. So the same idea. So we're going to divide by this factor. Just to make it simple. So y of s will be equal to 2 over s minus 3 cube multiplied by s minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 s minus 3 over s minus 3 all of it square okay very well and that's it and that's it so very simple just simplify you have two brackets that have different power uh, plus 3 and 2 so add the power so minus s minus 3 and 3 plus 2 is equal 5 and then 2 and then 2 is a constant s minus 3 over s minus 3 is s minus 3 okay root 1 and that is y of s so take note here just to simplify the equation you can make it like this in order to when you multiply this side by 1 over s minus 3 all of it square then you will simplify the equation to get this one thank you for watching and see you in the next video we're going to talk about inverse of Laplace transform